Uh, the, relu- the reluctant one. Reluctant one. Not you. Yes, you're a very attractive woman, too. <laughs> uh, I appreciate you. I appreciate you. But, uh, but I've, uh, I'm in We're time. usually a nebulous mist, so that is quite a compliment. <laughs> yes. No. 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 But I wanted to ask you about my health. I'm uh, I'm 86 years old, but I I have been pretty good health up until the last couple of years. I'm uh, I don't know what what's happening. I can't play golf anymore, and I used to be really good at it, and I had much fun out. But there's a lot of things in my life that I'd like to have, and I can't I can't seem to do it anymore. Is there anything that you could suggest that would help me, or, or I just got to drop the body and start over next time? <laughs> Well, we are appreciating the sincerity and the perfection of your question because everyone, even those that are not at the part where they're noticing any significant decline, are sort of perched and pushing against the idea of that because it's sort of programmed into you in your physical culture. Most people expect some sort of decline. What happens is, as you find something, Esther has been laughing because they took a romp through a park in Chula Vista the other day and Jerry does this thing where he climbs on the monkey bars and swings from all of the things that the <laughs> children's play on yeah, and, yeah. and plays on the balancing beam and, and, right. and turns around on the balancing beam and flies through the air and, Feels good. and <laughs> just shows off actually is what he's doing he just shows yeah. off and so yeah. Esther in watching him was feeling particularly frisky and, and did a sort of whirly thing and twisted her knee a little bit and now her knee is feeling a little uncomfortable and what we're encouraging her to remind herself about is that the discomfort is something that is in the moment it is not an indication of a direction of the rest of your life yeah, right. it's just something that happened in the moment which you can look at as something that is the beginning of the end or you can look at it as something that is just a temporary anomaly from which you will recover if yeah. you'll think back you can think of a lot of things that happened with your body that because of a different mindset you just didn't expect it to be the beginning of the end or any avalanche of decline. But what happens, especially as you begin interfacing with physicians and doctors who have been charting the effects of this sort of thing, when you think about it, they don't have large numbers of people coming to them because they feel great. And so the statistics that they are gathering are tremendously warped. And so when you walk through the door, they immediately try to size you up and make you fit within their statistics. So as a result, any interaction that Esther has had with any physician for any reason, she lies about her age, she lies about her family history, she lies about her symptoms, she lies about everything because she does not want them to make assumptions about her future experience that have nothing to do with her future experience. They're making assumptions about somebody's future experience based upon a very distorted pool of sick people that they've been studying and projecting on your behalf something that does not have anything to do with you. So what you've got to decide, and only this, this is the only thing you have to decide, is not how's my body feeling right now and what do I need to do to get it feeling differently or not how can I get to playing golf again right away. All you've got to ask yourself is which do I like better personally, the thought of physical decline or the thought of a regenerating body? Which thought (laughs) do I prefer? Oh, yeah, that's easy. So if it's easy, then you have to follow that easier thought. So then when when Esther finds herself limping a little and worrying about what's going to happen with her knee, she just has to stop and think, this is just a temporary thing. That happened when I was four also. Oh, yeah. Happened when I was four and only lasted for a day. And then I was right back up riding my tricycle again. It wasn't anything that was permanent and hasn't bothered me. In other words, you just have to talk yourself into remembering that you have this open access to the vitality of source that never runs out. And what makes people decline is that they start forking in the direction that doesn't allow them to be the receivers of this never-ending stream. Really, you see. You don't have to decline. Happy, healthy, happy, healthy, happy, healthy, dead. That's Esther's plan. (laughs) I know.
But now you see, here's the thing that we're wanting you to understand is now you are experiencing some evidence of it. It's easier for you to notice the evidence of decline than it is to hold yourself in the thought of a regenerative body. And so you're going to have to be a little more vigilant about the direction of your thoughts. And it's not easy if you hang around people who are accustomed to pigeonholing you in a pattern of decline. In other words, don't let people look at you and decide how you should feel or what you should be doing. Look back at them and defiantly say with your mind, you don't know what you're talking about. Right. My physical body responds to right. what I want, which is clearer now than it's ever been before. Right. because. When I was playing golf, I wasn't thinking so much about how much I like to play golf as I am now I'm not playing golf. In other words, my desire for my physical well-being is in a stronger, sharper, clearer place than it's ever been before. And further, Source Energy is sending more resources in order to shore that up because my life experience is causing me to call for more of that. So now a little bit of allowing goes a long way, you see. So just don't get together with others who want to complain about that. Esther listened to her parents teasing for years, for years years and years and years when Esther was a little girl she remembers hearing her father say nearly every day of his life that together he and Esther's mother made one good person yeah, right. that they had enough working parts between the two of them for one person yeah right and they never stopped joking and kidding about their decline you see but it does not have to be that way you have the ability to be and do and feel as you desire just don't try to do it all at once no. just one easy thought at a time right. so now talk to us start as you did where you were beginning to explain your physical condition and trying to speculate maybe what it was because it doesn't doesn't really doesn't matter, matter. It doesn't <laughs> yeah. matter at all yeah. and now make an effort we'll help you to fork in a direction that does nothing except emotionally feel better to you when you do it yeah yeah, that's a difficult question. I, I just feel like my feet turned out, and I didn't want, want them to. The, uh, uh, All was, right, so, so now what you're doing, you're making a statement of truth or fact. Yeah. But what we want you to do is ask yourself, does making that statement and amplifying it and activating it, does that feel better no. or worse? Or worse. So now try to make a statement relative to your physical body that turns the other way yeah just yeah. try well that's a difficult question um, it gets easier and easier though we know it's hard at first but it gets easier oh well my body has lasted very well for 82 years so that's good, isn't it? You yeah, mean that? 84 and, years almost. You mean that and you know that, don't you? Yeah. And so when you say it has lasted, in some ways you're sort of putting that in the past tense, like good up to 84, 84 and a half, not so good. Okay. So now what you're wanting to do is turn that just a little bit, more in a better feeling place. My physicalness has sort of come and gone. It does with everybody. In other words, even children have times when they are not feeling as good as others. Can you say anything that makes you feel emotionally better about where you are relative to your body? You know, I don't think about that. I think there may be some things like, I'm glad I got all my teeth and they don't hurt. <laughs> yeah, right. Right. Yeah. Right. Truly a sign of a healthy yeah. basis, yes. Yeah. What else? I'd like to uh, just think more about myself. Oh, well, because I have grandkids that are really, I'm interested in what they're going to do. And uh, they're going to be pilots, they're going to be actresses, they're going to be things that, that, are, that, are, that I would like to do too. I, I'm a pilot, private pilot, and I had wonderful experiences, you know, with a little private plane and just, just doing things that it just felt fun. And I... Uh, I uh, have those good memories.
And I like them. And so there are so many things that I've enjoyed living, and I'm looking forward to watching these things unfold in the lives of these people that I care about. Yeah. And I, I take pleasure in the idea of yeah. my continuing awareness and my continuing interaction <laughs> yeah, with them. Yeah. Now, all of this is forking in the right direction. And as you keep that up, what you'll begin to notice is that you could be one year, two year, three year, four year, five year, 86, 84, 85, 86, forking, 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 and then you could, for whatever reason, take a turn in the direction of something that you do not want. That does not mean, and this is the thing we want you to hear, that now the rest of the turns you have to fork in the direction of decline. You've got control about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. And further, having taken that turn a little bit has caused you to launch a rocket of desire that makes it easier really for you to reach this way. Really. Vitality is about connection to source. It's about closing this gap. Your physical body will respond, does respond, constantly to your yeah. thoughts. Yeah. Great. It is. It is. Yeah. Enough for now? And I, I think I have a wonderful wife, and we have a good life for us. And I feel very lucky that I have it. And I just like to continue it as far as I can. Uh, so now what you want to ask yourself, you're on a sort of forking rampage, and yeah. this is good. <laughs> what you're wanting to ask yourself is, with each statement that you make, in other words, yeah. I have this wonderful relationship, and it feels so good, and I feel so lucky, all forking, forking, forking <laughs> in the right direction. And then when you say, I want it to continue, which way do you fork? How does it feel? In other words, when you say, I want it to continue, only you know, how are you forking? No, you might have dipped a little bit this way. It was sort of like, I'm having a wonderful time and I don't want it to stop. So yeah. when you feel that happen, then just shore it up the other way. No reason to think that it's stopping. I've got the momentum going. There's so much yeah. that I'm excited about. Yeah. We're still having a wonderful time together. We've all got all these great kids and grandkids. Yeah. It's exciting to watch what's happening in the world. There are so many things in our own life that are still calling us. Mm -hmm. We're understanding that we are the creators of our own experience. We've come back into conscious awareness that we are connections of source energy. Yeah. It's so exhilarating to remember who we are. I've loved every step along this trail. Yeah. I know that this won't be my last trail, but I'm sure enjoying it while I'm on this trail. <laughs> yeah. There's okay. no reason for it to okay. peter out in any negative way, only yeah. a reason for it to become better and better and better and better. I love being this wonderful example to others of those yeah. who can move through time and move through space and remain in alignment with source energy. Yeah. It's never too late to make a new decision, and there's nobody that's standing in a place where they have never forked in the other direction. Nobody's holding me to any of those standards. There's no one outside of me that's disappointed in anything that's ever happened to me. It's just my own relationship with my own vibrational escrow. And I can feel that my life experience has caused me to put lots of things out there in vibrational escrow, and my mostly positive attitude have caused my life to unfold in really a wonderful way. And I can see how I'm not unlike so many people who have in some ways been responsible to what I've been observing and so now I'm realizing that I've got to take a different tack because I've lived a good life and I've been focused upon a good life which has kept a good life going but now I'm realizing that it's even more important that I be tenacious in focusing my energy in the direction of things that feel good and right now as I feel that I'm a little gimpy in my body I don't want to focus upon the reality of that and gimp off or fork off in the wrong direction so I'm going to use the power of my mind and I'm going to watch my body respond to the power of my mind and I'm going to help people to understand that their body will always, no matter what age they are, respond to the power of their mind. It's okay. exhilarating. It's life-giving. I can feel myself. I, can, I feel like a flower that didn't have enough water that now is getting enough water and I'm all perked up again. I can feel myself coming back into alignment with the eternal stream of well-being that flows. It's not about years. It's not about age. It's not about youth. It's about decline. And decline is about alignment or not. Decline is about in this moment, which way am I forking? In this moment, which way am I forking in this moment which way am I forking that's all that it's about that's right.